God lives and works today. He is a father who loves his children and plans good things for them. But we have to become children. How do we do this? Today's meditation by Basilea Schlenk called Put Your Hand in His has the answer. Become like a child and the kingdom of heaven will be yours. Our Lord Jesus has promised us this. But how do we become like a child? The first step is to admit that we're small and weak in comparison to the greatness of God and to realize that we don't know or understand anything, like a child in comparison to adults. We must accept the fact that our thoughts, wishes, and ideas are limited, so limited that we're incapable of judging correctly whether the ways by which God is leading us really are wrong or are too difficult for us. In comparison to the Almighty God and Creator, we are really very small and insignificant, much smaller than a child in relation to his father. Therefore, we must each become a child. Then we will be willing to accept the truth, that it's foolish to think we can decide where God's way should lead. I'll sing of God's care and guiding, the way of his own providing, the path through the night with blessings are bright. When we have recognized this and have accepted it, then the second step is to offer the Father our trust. For he is the Father of all fathers, and as the Bible says, he is pure love. God has shown this love to us in that he tore his only son away from his heart and sent him to die for us. His love wants to bring us home. It wants to rescue us from all evil and harm, from everything that makes us unhappy. If anyone has ever loved us, it is our Father in heaven. Therefore, when it is night in your soul and the ways are difficult and hard to understand, put your hand into his. He is beside you. Yes, the very fact that he is leading you along dark paths is a sign that he is at work in you. God is taking painstaking efforts to prepare you now so that one day you will be able to experience eternal happiness. You must only trust his love. Trust that it is he, your loving Father, who is at work. If you trust him in childlike faith, you will find him today, and your difficulties will become easy to bear. Temptation and despair will have to disappear, because you know for a certainty that you are loved. You know that the way God is leading you is the right way, the best way, and that it will lead to a glorious end. I sing, I sing God adoring, my praise to heaven up soaring. May my psalmody give pleasure to thee. I'll sing of God's will in sadness, how his fulfillment brings gladness to those who obey and follow God's way. You have been listening to a program written by Basileus Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K A N A A N.org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you. God lives and works today. The living, risen Lord Jesus has conquered the powers of death and hell so that we too can have victory. How can we take advantage of his offer? The answer is in today's meditation by Basilea Schlink. Sing of his victory. Jesus Christ, the victor's name, every knee shall bow.
bent before you, seated on the heavenly throne, all creation shall adore you, for your name such power wields, only triumph, victory yields. Praise and Lord and honor pay to this holy name of Jesus. All the heavens own its way, sing with us its splendid glory. Its all-conquering love and awe, Jesus, Savior, Christ our Lord. Our Lord Jesus is standing before us in his great love to give us a share in his victory, to give us his gifts and his grace. How little we have to do to take advantage of his offer. If we want to claim the offer of Jesus, the first thing we have to do is give him our time. It is not enough to offer a few minutes or a quarter of an hour every morning for a whole day. If I can sacrifice hours during the day for earthly and transient things, and even for unpleasant things, how much time do I give in order to come to Jesus to receive his offer? I can only receive his offer if I come to him and stay by him. That is a law of love. Love only gives when the other comes and listens and when he is open. However, that takes time. Jesus also needs time to reveal himself to us. This does not happen within a short space of time. Prayerfully we must sink ourselves into Jesus. With an open heart we must search the scriptures and listen to his voice. Such times of prayer can bring about very important changes in our lives. They bring us into intimate contact with Jesus so that we can become free from fears and bondages. But during these times of prayer, it is important to praise the blood of the Lamb over our bondages to sin, over our fears and difficulties. To claim the victory of Jesus means to fight a battle of faith by praying again and again, praising his victory which has been sealed by his wounds. There is power in prayer when we proclaim the power of his wounds. Then we are declaring what Jesus has done for us. Hell and Satan have to hear it and yield, because Jesus has conquered them. So strive in faith that you will win, for Christ can conquer every sin. Christ's help means always victory. He stretches out his strong right hand, our foes before him cannot stand, and they are all defeated. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have been listening to a program written by Basileus Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you. God lives and works today, and as an almighty, omnipotent, and loving Father, He is worthy and deserving of our praise. Today's program by Basileus Schlink is about praise, the highest calling of man. Sing with joy and worship Him, rejoice in the Lord, all ye lands, rejoice in the Yes, sing, laud, and worship God. To give Him the glory is the highest calling of man. We must bring honor to Him, 
for he rightfully deserves our honor. Only he is all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving, holy and eternal, the Lord and creator of life. And yet never before has God been so mocked and blasphemed as he is today, by children as well as by adults, from within the church as well as from without. Surely the hearts of those who love him should burn to bring him honor and praise in every possible way. In other words, we who are Christians should so radiate the love and glory of God that the world will recognize him for who he really is, the Lord great in honor, full of love. Could there be any commission more wonderful, more beautiful than to reveal to people who God is? When they behold him, they will fall down, giving him honor and worship, giving him their answer of love. Now there are many ways in which we can glorify God, but of course he will receive the most glory when our entire being radiates his true nature, which is only love, and when we demonstrate in everyday life the merciful, patient, reconciling love of Jesus. For God has called us for this very purpose, that we might reveal the kingdom of love, that each one of us might be a little ray of his heavenly light. Oh, if only our hearts would burn with this one desire, my life must glorify God. With love and awe I venerate the plan by which you did create the world, O God Almighty. O earth and all the universe, O all the men and beasts diverse, you are the only sovereign. listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. If this program has been a help to you, we would be happy to send you a free leaflet by the same author. Please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you. God lives and works today. Sometimes His plans and leadings are painful, but He always knows what is best. If it is hard for you to understand his ways, today's meditation by Basilea Schlink can be of help to you. How often we think, how can God be a loving father when he imposes such a heavy cross on me? However, when such thoughts rise up in us, it's probably because we have forgotten that we're sinners. Sinners need to have crosses. Sinners need to have suffering in their lives because it purifies and transforms them. If God wouldn't chasten us, we would never reach the goal of the glory of God. For without holiness, no one will see the Lord. God is sending you a cross because as your father, he has to chastise and prepare you for eternity. Now he's waiting for your answer. Will it be the answer which a loving child gives to his father? Will he hear these words from your mouth? 
I want my cross. It comes from your hands. You've given it to me, and if you don't want to take it away, I want to accept it. It's an expression of your love. This commitment has power before all the invisible world. Satan, who hates the cross, will flee from you, and Jesus, who humbly carried his cross, will come to you and lovingly take you into his arms. You'll then be a true disciple who obeys Jesus' command. If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Matthew 16. This will bring joy to the heart of Jesus and the Father. Cross bearing, blessed pain, glory its final aim, loaded with gold is the cross, bringing grace all its own from heaven's highest throne. Cross bearing brings us Therefore, do not try to reason or question God, asking, Why? Why does God, who says he is a father of love, have to lay this cross on me? Don't look at yourself. Look at Jesus, who entered into glory through the cross. Your cross is the boat which will carry you into the city of God. There is only one way which leads to glory, the way of the cross. Yes, according to the Holy Scripture, it is the cross and suffering which bring us glory. Therefore, look forward to what will come and rejoice. On earth I wait yearning for one great day, the day I return to my home and can stay at rest with my Father forever. On earth I wait yearning You have been listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.